Hello, my name is Rod Gould. I'm Santa Monica City Manager. Thank you for tuning in to Santa Monica Talks. This is a presentation that was given as part of three community meetings in the second week of November of 2012. The goal of these meetings was to answer some basic questions. How are we managing your city resources? What difficulties lie ahead? And what are strategies that we are pursuing to meet these challenges? I'll provide information over the next 30 minutes that may be of interest to you, whether you're a resident or a business person in town. If you have questions, please go to our website at www.smgov.net slash smtalks. We'll be happy to receive your comments and questions and get back to you. Let's start with the financial picture. The state of California, as many people know, has been struggling with much higher levels of unemployment than the rest of the country. In fact, we still have the th third highest level of unemployment in the United States. The recovery has come slowly to the Golden State since 2008. That said, in the last two years, we've seen a pickup of job growth in many sectors in the California economy. And the housing market is also showing signs of recovery. However, the lingering effects of major state budget cuts coupled with instability in the international economy will continue to make our, our recovery in California moderate in pace. This has a direct effect on us in Santa Monica in several ways. The most direct, of course, was the loss of redevelopment in 2012 across California. This was an unprecedented event, uh, the first time in history when the state government has eliminated an arm of local government uh, to solve its budget problems. Uh, as a result of the loss of redevelopment resources, uh, we have a number of capital projects in Santa Monica that are now in limbo. Our ability to affect affordable housing projects is severely limited because redevelopment was our primary funding source. Similarly, our ability to fund capital projects for infrastructure renewal is highly challenged as a result. But our local economy in Santa Monica remains fairly resilient. Unemployment in our city is estimated to be about 8.4%, which is below the statewide unemployment rate of 10.4% and below the LA regional average of about 10%. So we're doing a little bit better than the rest of the region and the state. Assessed valuation in Santa Monica, which by the way is the third highest in all of Los Angeles County, only behind LA City and Long Beach, rose 4.6% this past year. And tourists and visitors returned to our city in the early part of 2011, which has boosted our hotel rates and has kept uh, vacancies very low in hotels, as is the case with offices. Uh, we have some of the highest levels of occupancy in office space in Santa Monica and some of the highest rents in all of Los Angeles County. Uh, the same goes for apartments as well. Uh, so after the searing recession of 2008, we see our revenues coming back to 2007 levels in 2012. So it's taken five years to recover from the worldwide recession. When you compare how Santa Monica stands versus other cities, I, I want to make several points. Uh, most cities have seen five or six years of successive losses of revenue nationwide. And, and most cities have had to do some very hard things. Most have had to cut services. Many have eliminated many positions. In California alone, since January of 2008, 139,000 public servants have been cut from the payrolls. Uh, this has cut service levels. This has meant, made that infrastructure renewal has become more and more rare. Uh, this has forced cities to burn down their reserves. This has led to furloughing of current employees. And I'm afraid many cities have had to make decisions that will be with them for many years to come. We're, we've done much better in Santa Monica, but we're always looking out on the horizon. And so we do five-year financial projections, essentially every six months. Our last one was in May of this year. And at that time, although we were in good shape last year and this year, we saw a bit of a deficit beginning in 2014-15 and then increasing the year after. Although it was to be $3.6 million again in 2014-15 and, and $4.6 million the following year, and that certainly is a lot of money, it represents about a little more than 1% of our general fund budget. So it's quite manageable if we're smart, if we look ahead. 
we'll do a new five-year projection for the City Council in January of 2013. So our position is, is better than most, and it's been bolstered by a, a strong local economy. Uh, like many cities, we have certain reserves that we hold aside uh, for catastrophic losses and things that cannot be predicted. We've boosted those reserves to 15% of our general fund. We also put some money aside some years ago for economic uncertainty. And while we certainly have experienced a lot of economic uncertainty in these recent years, we have yet to touch that additional reserve fund. We have a nice range of revenue sources that help stabilize our financial picture. And no one revenue source represents more than 15% of our total funding. And we've been able to use some savings to pay down some accrued retirement costs over time, which have helped to moderate the increases for the city in, in pension costs. But all in all, I think if we budget smarter, we can maintain our position, we can meet community needs, uh, we can maintain our reserves for a rainy day, and we can move forward together.